Hello, and this is a video for week 12. We are heading into the home stretch. The good news is this week we're not doing too much. I'm going to give you a slight break on the uh, group work because I feel you need it. Uh, but by now, you have submitted the, the four major parts of your um, research project with the overview. You've just submitted and you'll be receiving feedback on the editorial analysis, research project, and of course, a review of literature. So you have all of those parts. We're going to start working on the call to action, but I also want you to start thinking about how we're going to start putting all this together. Because next week, in week 13, the full draft of your project will be due. That'll allow me to look at everything and provide you feedback on how it all flows together before you submit the final project on week 14, at the end of week 14. So I'll scramble to get all those graded uh, over the weekend so you can have um, feedback early on in the week, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. We'll see how well that goes. Um, Wednesday at the latest, that'll give you some time, but um, you'll also be receiving feedback from your classmates. So what I have in week 12, I do have the link to the research project again for you to look at. Uh, I do have a video explaining the call to action as well as a script. The only assignment for this week that you have to turn in is Discussion 27 due Saturday night. I'm asking you uh, to start thinking about this bigger project. Uh, what's the strongest and weakest part of your argument and your project? What have you been finding out? Uh, what have you left out? What do you need to say? So you've been getting some feedback from me in the discussion boards. I hope you've seen those. Um, if not, um, I'll make sure I show you where those are. Uh, what do you think you need to know? What's going to make your paper convincing? That's an important thing to consider. Test these arguments out on other people. That's what we've been doing in our group. Our group members all know these topics pretty well. So uh, that's helpful, but try them out on a, a friend or parents, or if you have, don't have friends or parents, uh, a random stranger on the street, uh, somebody. Somebody who's going to listen to you talk about these and listen to their concerns and address those concerns in your paper. You might say something like, uh, many people would counter or, or oppose this idea by asking these questions. These are easily refuted or easily addressed with X, Y, and Z. That's going to make your paper a lot stronger. Think of yourself having this, you know, imaginary shower conversation um, with, with somebody where you're arguing and you hear their response and you're giving that good counter uh, argument. So that's what we have to start thinking about. So try to figure out what these, these uh, counter arguments are to your call to action and to your research argument. Figure out how you're going to refute or rebut those arguments in order to show that your ideas are good. And then uh, think about how you're going to revise your project. Now, I'm going to quickly go into the group discussion board um, to show you where those comments are. So, again, go into the discussion board, and you got to go into your, your discussions. So, I made comments on your research drafts, and you'll see somewhere in here my picture. Oh, I haven't done this one. I'm working on this one. That'll be done today. I'm sorry. Um, I try to go in different orders um, so because uh, I have five different groups to work on. So last time I started with health, I went down to trafficking. This time I started on trafficking, went to health. So um, in the group discussion board, you know, I, I'll be getting those done soon. Uh, but you click on one, and you'll see my picture down here. So I have some comments, and then there's a PDF for you to open up or a doc to open up with my comments, so make sure you do that. I'm going to quickly show you week 13 because that's available as well. Uh, we are submitting a full draft of our project next Friday. You're going to submit it to your group, and then you need to take this link to submit your full draft of the research project. So there's a lot of links. I'm sorry, but that's the easiest way for me to do it. There's some lessons on putting everything together, so watch this stuff as well. That'll be useful. And um, that's kind of what we're looking at. I haven't got everything completed for uh, week 14, but this is correct. Our presentations, and I have information on the presentation right here, um, along with your final project. That's going to be due week 14. I just don't have all the, the links for submitting things set up, but you're welcome to look at these things. So look ahead, plan ahead, and you'll be in good shape. If you have questions, 
please contact me.